You ready? Yep. Can't wait to hear this one. Well, I don't have it prepared, so. <laughs> All right, so. Um... Okay, let's start. Hello, everybody. Uh, a lot of you know uh, me and my partner, Dave, we couldn't make it today. Um, some of you have heard our story. We went through a really expensive uh, program uh, through our Dean Bravioc. You may have heard that name. <laughs> uh, Dave and I spent close to a uh, thirty thousand on his program, and then part of his really good deal sent, uh, conference in Las Vegas was that everybody has to get a deal. So we ended up getting one, and had no idea what we were doing. And we bought a rental in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about 10 hours drive from here. And for an investor like us, a beginner, we cannot really fly here because there is no direct fly. So the best way is to drive and it takes about 10 hours and it costs at least three to four hundred dollars for a couple of days. We have made two trips there, by the way. It's not a pretty town. <laughs> <laughs> the police inspectors here are also the property inspectors. The police officers are the property inspectors here like, in that little city. Anyways, uh, we spent about 50000 It was cash flowing for about a year. First, the property management went down without any notice or anything to us. So they, they choose two or three months worth of rent. It was a section eight. We paid a couple of years for the re rehab of it to bring it back to section eight. That shoots some of our cash flow for the first year. So uh, the second year after paying that another sort of rehab process whole thing, the property management goes down because they were doing some money laundering. So they took two or three years, uh, three months worth of our rent disappeared. And uh, when we went to see the property, uh, there was nobody there, the renter had also took off. And there were two dogs sitting there and with a lot of other stuff that you can expect from the dogs. Um, it was vandalized quite a bit. Uh, the only thing that was left there was the AC unit outside. But everything else was taken from inside, including the water heater and all that crap. Anyway, we rehabbed it and then the rehabbers started giving us hard times. So it's been on hold for a year. We lost about a year's worth of any cash flow we could have made possibly. Plus we are still paying the taxes and the bills on it because they don't stop. Uh, the rehab are finally agreed now, so hopefully we can get it going by the end of this month. So that is kind of my, my deal. We paid about 50 up front, lost another about 20 now, and the property is still not worth more than 40, maybe 45. 50 at the most, Perfect. if we do seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's my deal. That's awesome. I want to share it with you.